I all playing some Illusion Carnival? I hope this is working correctly. I <laughs> it's acting a little funny. So Illusion Carnival, really interesting looking game. I uh, was mainly drawn to it because I like the aesthetic. Halloween-like aesthetic. Let's go ahead and start. This game contains flashing lights and rapidly changing images, which can trigger photosensitive epilepsy or other similar symptoms. If you have a history of epilepsy or seizures, consult with a doctor before playing. If you experience dizziness, visual abnormalities, twitching, loss of consciousness, discomfort, or pain while playing, stop immediately and seek medical advice. Confirm. I'm glad that they have uh, a warning like that at the beginning of the game. I don't often see that. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and hold and drag the left mouse button to look around. Hold and drag the left mouse button to look around. Okay. Double click the left mouse button to reset your view. I like that there's a reset view thing. All right, we are a spirit. Actually, let me... Keyboard mapping report. What does backstage mean? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring down the music a little. I like the music though, it's very fanciful. Mm -hmm. Fits well with the theme. Confettia. Visually cool. I like I like this type of type of stuff that stands out a lot. Walk up to other characters and space to start a conversation. Hey, hey, we have a visitor here. What? Uh, another visitor arrived swiftly. Welcome. Hey, Tiny, you don't seem to have a ticket. No worries at all. For all lost souls, we offer our services free of charge. Would you like to get your ticket to Confettia now? Confirm. So what should we call you? Paper. My name is... Paper. I guess Kitamari. Kitamari. Kitamari? Kitamari, good. I'll remember that. Are you sure about this name? Yes. Ask for another, that's cool. Here's a present for you. A special paper craft. Make sure to take good care of it. Oh, that's cute. And as a special gift for all our visitors, we prepare unique costumes for dressing up. Enjoy the park as a lovely paper boat and don't ever get lost again. So I am now a paper boat. I have ascended, literally. And here we are. Traveling to new worlds, new dimensions of paper craft. We're now at Confettia. I like how uh, the visuals pop out, like a pop-up book. Shift, turn into a paper boat, and dash. I like being who I am right now. This kind of reminds me of Okage Shadow King, the art stuff. Get closer to objects with stars on them and space to investigate. I look at this item too. Space to investigate this item too. Hmm. Here we go. Tips for lost souls. There's so many weird buddies here. But don't be afraid. They will be glad to show you around. There's something on the back of the note. Looking forward to seeing you in person. Look at those eyes watching. A lock with a toy-like texture, but you don't have the key. I mean, we have other places we need to go to, I guess. She sure needs to blink a lot. She... Her eyes are easily irritated. A building block with a number on it. You touch it, noticing that it's soft. It doesn't have any sharp edges. You guess it could be a pillow shaped like a block. It could be. I'm gonna go hide back here. I'm gonna hide right here. <laughs> okay. 
so what am I doing? Oh, I like uh, being able to transform and quickly dash, but I don't know. It seems like there should just be a run button or something. <laughs> a mound of popcorn so tall you have to crane your neck to see the top. You feel uncomfortable with the item size here. Let's look at this block. See what you found? A toy block. Pat. You pat it with your paper arm. Imagine the pain it may feel. Ouch. You notice that the color on the block has been dyed onto it as the paint comes off onto your arm. This is a little bit of a strange script. A little bit. Let's... Ooh, look at that bear balloon. Look at all these. Let's talk to this, uh, this train. Cotton candy comes out of the chimney. The sugary smell might sweeten your teeth off if you still have any. You realize that none of the items here are what they seem. Bunch of buttons. There's a mushy uh, shaped thingy. And we're just looking everywhere, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing is as it seems and this. Oh, look at that light there. It stands out a lot. All right, let's talk to this present. Hello, present. A gift box that beckons you to open it, and it's just the right size for you. I'll open it. Jeez, the ribbon of the box is hairy. Then you realize it's a soft, fluffy stuffed toy. See what you find underneath? A key. Yay. Tab to open my backpack. I can hold 10 items. Double click or press number keys to use. That's good. We can quickly make our way. We are ready to use the key up north. A lock with a toy like texture. Let's use the key. Loading. Definitely a uh, strange little game so far. Ooh. Oh, I like the look of this area. I like the look of this game in general, but like the look of this area in particular is quite nice. Let's follow that ghost. Oh no, those sticky keys wanted to turn on. It's because I get impatient. And I remain impatient. Look at that butterfly. Look at the sort of sketchy art design. I like that. And the colors as well. I like the colors. And I like this this area. So there's a butterfly with an eye. Kitamari, our protagonist has finally arrived at the stage. I'm, uh, let me look at this name clear, uh, carefully. Delarini. I'm Delarini. I shall be your tour guide. I will guide you in your journey through Confetti. But first, I've prepared you a little opening performance. First act, the protagonist perishes. Spikes, chainsaws, round chainsaws. Kitamari, stop hiding. Embrace your ending in this splendid welcome from Confetti. How am I alive? I <laughs> just managed to survive. Why is it my business if you two are having fun? Well, why can I still speak? Oh, does it take this long to die? Our visitor Kitamari, who just entered Confetti, is already faced with... Huh? Who are you? Demetria? 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 <laughs> Why are we having a second visitor? Don't mind, the second one should die in a second. Huh, nice try, but look at yourself. Have you ever felt pain until now? Didn't I bleed out to the point that I can no longer feel pain? Wait, there's not even a single wound. Was I impaled for real? Why didn't I feel anything? Yes, yes, why? Why? 
quality problems with your gadgets? Those were real sharp weapons. In order to die from wounds, one should at least have a physical body, right? But here, you're just souls. Of course, you can never get hurt, nor can you die of physical wounds. Your flesh bodies are safe and sound in the world above. Above, then, this place must be... Limbo. I like this visual effect here. So we are all ghosts after all. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. This is the place between the underworld and the mortal world. If the underworld and mortal world are the two pieces of meat of a burger, then this place would be the bun in the middle. Huh? Ah, wrong order of words. In short, no one can die here, right? Indeed, no one can die here anyway, so let's do it again. I like the storyline. I... <laughs> I'm reminded a little of... Gosh, maybe Touch Detective? But there are definitely various quirky media. Like, there's also Danganronpa a bit. See? Amazing, isn't it? You can hardly find your way without a guide and confetti with all these unusual paths. To Demetria, what's wrong with his head? Uh, I'm gonna go with where did you take us? This path leads to the first attraction. Huh. Talking to you reminds me of the last visitor on my tour. What happened to that person? What happened? What did you say? Oh, by the way, before your tour starts officially, have you ever thought about how amazing it is to be immortal? Your adventures can last forever. Does that mean if we can't find the exit, we'll be stuck here forever? Well, not that there aren't other ways, but I think it's a bit too early for that. Because compared to death, there is something worse. Souls won't suffer physical death, however, souls still have spirits. When your spirit is eroded completely, it will collapse. You will fall into utter madness, and there's no way back. However, no one will die here. You can only lose your sanity, but never your life. What happens in that endless madness, I wonder? Listen carefully. Some these visuals. It's the carnival of spiritual death only. Dear visitors, this is the end of our guided tour. From now on, every step you take in the park, every joy and sorrow you share will become your very own story. So I hope you embrace the most delightful of emotions and have a nice tour. These hands, hand city. The top left corner shows how much spirit you have left. Oh, I don't have much. I don't have time to, to dally. Shift to turn into a paper boat. During the dash, you are immune to spirit damage from abnormal. Ah! Uh, I went... Mm. Okay. It's kind of important to, uh... Use some amount of... Ah! And... Right. X? Yeah, I definitely prefer using a controller here. <laughs> This reminds me a bit of, um, Little Goody Two Shoes when it comes to things. Alright, we made it. How? Where did these hands come from all of a sudden? My brain feels melting when I'm touched by them. These things. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Yeah! <laughs> this game. Sorry for the little pause here. Resume. Uh, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Oh gosh, eyes, everything. Yeah. Um... Kitmari, do you know it? In your journey ahead, you will face even more spectacular abnormal eager to eat you. That is to say, you cannot get away. That is to say... I'm not sure if you're tough enough to survive long enough to find the ultimate exit of the park. But seriously, reaching the exit may not be the best choice, should we say? Want to know a secret? I know the best way to get home. I pity you. I truly hope you can reach the best ending. That outcome would indeed be ideal for Confettia, and it's a time I anticipate more than anyone else. If you allow it, I hope to clear the abnormal for you, ensuring a smooth journey ahead. Unfortunately, it's your story, therefore I can't interfere. After all, Kitamari, this is the endless carnival hosted only for you. Now I'm a paper boat again. Did I say paper plane at any point? I'm paper boat. Definitely a paper boat.
A to pick up dessert, Y to open your backpack and eat it. What dessert do I want? I will take this dessert. Y to open my backpack and eat it. Uh, A to use item. Ah, there we go. Welcome, welcome aboard. We will show you the wonder of confetti. -a. Set off your spirit and imagination. Ooh, I'm on a ride. We are committed to providing a unique experience for every one of our visitors. The fantastic environment and colorful palette has always been uh, something. Speaking of this, I must mention the transportation pipe for scrawling and all that. Ah, thanks to Confetti Factory. That could be tweaked a bit. <laughs> our secret recipe is that these paints contain everything is colorful. Why don't you have your color? Every paint has its own personality. See pink. Carve a smile on every face, every eye and face, cheerfully taking off skins enthusiastically. Cheerful us are all cheering. Oh gosh, that just it's going on the delicacy Kitamari is right in front of us with the factory forever. Let me uh We want to eat it. Oh gosh. Psychological horror game. Eat the black and white. Eat the black and white. The black and white. It's that delicious? I want a bite too. What happened to your face? I almost didn't recognize her. It's that delicious? I want a bite too. No way. No is not allowed. I'm telling you, I've noticed it already. If I pull the paper boat off your head, then there must be a bald patch underneath. Who are you? Me? I am... <laughs> you lost soul. How can you expect to find your way home safely in this chaotic world of confetti -a? Well, let me teach you something important. Firstly, take that paper boat off. Never mind that for a moment. How did you get that paper fortune teller? Quick, pick a number. Four. Pick a direction. Mm. West. The direction of fate will be... Little Dummy's Hat Tip. Great then, I will start eating from you Little Dummy's Hat Tip. They're all gonna eat me. Hey, not for you. You are not listening at all. Well, do you have any idea why Abnormal wants to eat you that much? Their one and only desire is to feast on fear and desperation. Under their attack, your soul will ooze black and white paint like wounds oozing blood under a bandage. That is to say, rare colorless praise like you are exactly their favorite. Well, little paper boat, let me tell you a secret. Abnormal shouldn't have invaded this park. They abruptly came through this place one day and nobody could do a thing about it. Only the paper craft in your hand is specially prepared for the visitors. It can reverse the abnormal. That paper craft is called Oracart. Listen carefully. R2 long press. Approach abnormal with pink symbols. Long press R2 to expand the range. <clears throat> Release and reverse the abnormal within the range. This is a strange combat system, too. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's... It's visually delightful as well. See? That's the power of Oracard's shock. Physical body and wounds don't exist in this world. To overcome an opponent, the only way is to use spiritual powers. You just need a stronger mind than your opponent to suppress them, or even reflect the spiritual effect onto them. Orkert is a medium for such. The instantaneous shock generates a burst of spiritual energy, enough to reverse the state of your, uh, enough to reverse the state of your opponent. Paper boat, tiny little paper boat. Do you have any idea what it means to hold the Orkert? Whether you like it or not, the fate of Confetti is under your control, little brat. What? You said your name is Kitamari. None of my business. If I keep our protagonist here for too long, our audience would get mad. Go on with your sailing. Ah, almost forgot the most important thing. I haven't taken a bite out of you yet. Because she's also one of them, let's see. But she likes us, I think. In some weird way. She wants to explain a lot of things to us. I am. 
I am, I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what I'm doing? I, <laughs> I'm trying to an angle with this combat system. It is interesting, certainly. It's all about holding and releasing like in time. There's a rhythm to it as well. Not being uh, grabbed in time here. Oh. Ah. oh gosh, I might be in trouble. I'm holding this, releasing, and then the releasing is like, it has to be, it has to be done in time. And it's, it's, a little complicated at certain points. And this one as well. This one is timing and angling it just right. I wish that it was easier for me to uh, defend myself at some points. It seems like we're not even supposed to defend ourselves at some points. Did I make it? And I was even healed, which is good. Welcome. The welcome cable welcomes you forever. Be silent. Was this place always that dark? Didn't remember it correctly? Ouch, you startled me. How are you still alive? Those cuties treated you way too nicely. What a bunch of idiots. Everything is for me then? <laughs> Oh, and another thing I wanted to tell you when we've met. Your dandruff count is explosively high. She has little white dots on her <laughs> towards her bangs. We have arrived at the terminal of the welcome cable. Our welcome cable will forever welcome you. Welcome, welcome. Hey, only gave us this little time to chat. Someone must be really impatient. Kitamari, do you know how wonderful it would be if all abnormal and confetti are fixed? No one's mind and spirit will ever get hurt. It'll be a perfect amusement park of pure innocence. You will no longer be exposed to fear and no soul will ever collapse. No human will ever die here. Confettia? That. Thirteen. Is confetti at the most? Three, twenty-eight, four, something, something. I think that would be the best ending. I'll try not to get squashed. All right, do you need my help to fold yourself up? I could even style your hair. I'm quite talented in handcraft. Clack, clack, click, clack. Uh, no paper cuts. Huh, how about a slanted fringe? Or a mohawk? Or maybe you want to be bald? Or a breadhead? Breadhead. <laughs> breadhead. <laughs> all right, confetti is still waiting for you. See you, paper boat. Who are you, after all? As you can see, I am Elusia. I told you so many secrets. Don't tell anyone else. Including, I am Elusia. Because Elusia doesn't exist, there is no illusion. I only have half my health. A little more than half, I think. Ugh. What an exhausting day with Elusia. Let's look at this stuff. The piece of paper fell along with you, but you don't think you've ever seen it before. On the paper is a sketch of some kind, of a soft-bodied ocean creature, or maybe just a couple of tangled, crooked lines. Was it some immature kid that put it on your back while you were distracted? Confettia's classic welcoming event. The tour of the welcome cable is coming to an end. After a brief introduction, do you have a better understanding of this park now? Now you can follow the route and enjoy your journey officially in the first area. Up ahead, blank button house. The last part of the note is scribbled out. There's this game called Lost in Random. This is this 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 is way more random than lost in random. It's also way more lost in random. Literally. Uh well I will get more. Ooh, puzzle time. So I don't know, that looks like a ring or a coin, and then a melon. 
and then a button for a flower. As you sow, so shall you reap. As you sow the buttons, so shall you reap the button flowers. You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper. The writing on it seems different. The first time I came here, there was no park, just a vast, empty space. The only attractions were a merry-go-round with tons of teeth and bumper cars on fire, though they were all gone after the construction of this area was completed. But back then, compared to these abnormal facilities, the most interesting thing was still the visitor in a black and white teddy bear costume. Yeah, that's some dang good rock stuff there. Holding a tattered doll, the teddy visitor looked timid. Don't be shy. Play around with Woo Woo. To be continued. Button. Button house. Button house. And we have this area up here. We'll just keep going up here then. The head is button house. Loading. Look at these balloons. And these balloons. Look at this eye. Look at everything. Ooh, little octopus creature. Wow, Teddy. Uh, no, my bad. Well, you're a visitor too, no? Why are visitors all in black and white? I almost saw you as someone else. What? You're named Kitamari? I'm Woo Woo, the sole octopus of this park. Have you ever heard of Confetti Factory? I live in there. There's a ton of delicious food in that place. It's been a long time since I met the last visitor. How did you get here? Did you buy a ticket? Fell out of nowhere. Well, I guess so. Hey, did you happen to see my novel while you were wandering around here? So far, there's five chapters. I scattered them around here while writing. Do you see any other visitors that are black and white like you? No. <clears throat> I expected so. Can you tell me if you see another one? I can give you two candies for free from my precious collection. Oh, and do you feel up for some candies? The ones that can refresh your mind. You humans seem to rely on them somewhat. You can buy some at the food truck over there if you own enough vouchers. Desert shop. Uh, dessert shop. Selling delicious food made of colorful paints. Rich in ecstatic emotions. It's your prime choice for experiencing spiritual moments. Accepts confetti vouchers only. Ooh. I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know how much I have, uh... kind of want to buy something anyway, even though I don't know how much I have to get anything. Well, it doesn't look like I can, so... In the future. Get these papers falling down here. I keep saying look at everything. I'm like, just look at this, look at that. Uh, ahead, Wheel of Fortune, the biggest and most immersive Wheel of Fortune in the Button House. The chosen lucky audience can attempt the challenges to win numerous prizes. Don't be discouraged if you didn't beat me. Wheel of Fortune will play with you forever till you win. Oh, a million come-ins. Wheel of Fortune, huh? Look at the symbols on the lottery boxes and you will know what prizes they hold. This one holds happiness. Look at the symbols on... Alright. I don't know what that was about. We're gonna go... Um... Well, first I wanna... I wanna look over here. A box, a box, a box. Get a lottery box from a lottery box. Get another lottery box from a lottery box. And again, get another lottery box from a lottery box. You find yet another sticker on the back of this paper. The writing on it seems different. Why are there so many teeth on the merry-go-round? Amusement parks weren't like this in where I lived. I recall the notice on the billboard. Beware of abnormal appearances in confetti. Watch out for their spiritual attacks. Is that what abnormal is? 
While I was thinking, I saw a trembling figure walking towards me. Teddy was attacked by the abnormal merry-go-round. Luckily, I had lots of desserts that can heal the spirit, and I shared some with Teddy. It's just that they were too expensive. There goes most of my savings. Teddy told me that it would be great to have a big spinning wheel of fortune here. Just spin the wheel and endless sweets should come out if one's lucky. Might be because Teddy has never been to an amusement park, nor have they ever played this kind of game before. Even the introverted Teddy said this with excitement. To be continued. Oops. Hmm. Okay. Let's go north a bit. We have 79 tickets. And half health. Hi, Kitamari. You're heading to the first attraction in Button House already. Uh, though my work as a guide is pretty much over, I'm still really curious about what kind of fun you're going to have. Quick survey. Do you think the moon is made out of blueberries? Aren't here swimming in the green box? Aren't Aren't there geese swimming in the green box? Are there shadows eating oranges in the circus? Yes. <laughs> I expected so. Anyway, where has Demetria gone to? Being smashed into jam in a terrible accident, surely that won't happen. But never mind. So how are you? Did you have fun with the welcome table? I met Elusia. But never mind. So how are you? Did you have fun with the welcome cable? I met Elusia. <laughs> but never mind. So how are you? Did you have fun with the... What happened to Demetria? Huh? Why ask me? I have no idea either. Getting lost isn't the guide's fault. Getting smashed into jam is your own fault. And she's different from you. She didn't get the aura card. Aura card is unique. Super precious. But strange. No one else ever... Uh, other than visitors have ever obtained the aura card or learned how to use it in the entirety of Confetia. How did you suddenly learn how to use it? Hey, you're not still wary of me just because I scared you a little at the entrance, aren't you? Honestly, I just intended to show you the terror of the abnormal. To be honest, Kitamari, let's whisper for a moment. I have no intention whatsoever to hurt you. I shoulder my one and only duty, to guide the visitors on the right path. If anyone wants you to save Confettia with Oricard, that is definitely the wrong path, leading to the worst ending for the whole Confettia. Why? Kitamari, keep your eyes wide open. Because the illusion is disgustingly fake. Just like I said, the first attraction in Button House is just ahead. Huh? Why that face? I didn't say anything weird. Our Wheel of Fortune will provide visitors with delicately designed games. Go ahead with your all-capable aura card and try. A little hero in confetti. Mm -hmm. I kind of worded that last part wrong, but yeah. Blinking. Well, back to the topic at hand. Do you like the game booths at carnivals? With all the colorful figures lined up that you can take home if you toss rings into them. Onto them. Oh dear, there seems to be more than two of us here. <laughs> can you hear me? Dear audience, both those who exist and do not exist, welcome. We finally have a new visitor to the Wheel of Fortune who is running around. Who's the last kid that can't get out? Yes, yes, the lucky audience this time is with our winner, Woo Woo, inside. Woo Woo, as the lucky winner, do you have anything you'd like to say? Well, since our winner ran away, our true lucky winner should now be Kitamari. I tried to go over there to see. Kitamari, if you beat three games, I will reward you with a big prize. See who this is? Oh, wow. It's the person we met, Demetria. Finally, someone is here to take my place and play with this thing. Hooray, you're alive. Why aren't you smashed into jail? Hooray, you're alive. Hooray. Hello, I'm still here. Oh no, Kitamari, we must have been haunted by hallucinatory sounds. A hallucinatory... Uh, hey, can anybody hear me? Hello? Hello? If you keep chatting with non-existent things, you'll probably go insane for real. Hey, hey, hey! Hmm, I think so. Becoming someone like Delarini would be terrifying. Play with the Wheel of Fortune or everyone will be smashed into jam. Great. Great! Hooray! Also, can you put me down now? 
No, no, you don't seem to understand. I will only let you go if Kitamari beats me. Impossible. Jam on the floor. Wheel of Fortune, you do know that jumping from this height can't even hurt a school kid, right? I don't want to play your games anymore. My game is absolutely fair. You lost, so accept the punishment. Who forced me to play rock, paper, scissors with six hands at the same time? Ah, why this kiddo is so lacking in the spirit of fun. I've been playing with you for way too long. Never mind, but you two are a little troubling. You should stay in here. Helping Kitamari is against the rules. Cheating is not good. Are you expecting us to just stand here hopelessly while watching Kitamari get torn into pieces? Don't tell it. Just think of it. Paper scraps are so hard to clean. Ugh, come on, Kitamari. At least you don't have to stay here and listen to them talking. Kitamari, you seem to be holding a very interesting paper craft. Then let's play some special games. If you beat me, the Wheel of Fortune will reward you with a huge amount of vouchers. How's that? Would you like to try your luck? <laughs> you don't have a choice anyway. Cheater. I'm not. <laughs> the rule of the first game. You must have played ring tossing games before, haven't you? I will drop in a lot of lovely little dolls. When a doll enters one of the light circles, catch them by shocking them with your orica. If you capture five dolls, you will be considered winner. Are the rules clear? Clear. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ah. I forgot about the controls. Ah. There we go. It's R2. Trying to hold it as long as I can. Almost like a rogue. Uh, almost like a action roguelike. Oh, survivor style game. Almost a little bit. Definitely unique combat. Come forth to the Wheel of Fortune. You caught two dolls. What a pity. So close. But it's fine. The generous Wheel of Fortune will give you a second chance. We have plenty of time to play leisurely. Whoa, Kitamari, your face looks like an abstract painting. How can that be possible? Wait, I forgot to say earlier, I was suddenly grabbed by a swarm of hands and then I was brought here. And that big meanie wheel just forced me to play forever and wouldn't let me go. While I was stuck here, what happened with Kitamari? I took a ride on Welcome Cable. I beat up a lot of weird stuff. The strongest here might just be our tiny paper friend. You, don't you dare try any tricks in front of me. The next game is easy enough. I will give different commands and you must complete them within a time limit. But be very careful. When the light dims, you must do the opposite of what the order says. For example, if I say stand still, you should keep running. Oh gosh, if I, if I say open a box, then don't open any box. But only when the light is dim. If you complete 10 commands, you win. Are the rules clear? Uh, clear as they'll ever be. <laughs> I'm gonna be terrible at this one. Okay. Open a box. Yay. Don't move. Oh no. Move. Stand next to a box. Move. Move. Shock a teddy bear. Oh no. Shock a teddy bear. Shock a teddy bear. Go down. Go up. Don't move. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh gosh. Shock a bunny? Where's the bunny? Ah! Wasn't supposed to do that. Go and circle on the ground. Don't move. Move. Oh no. Go right. Move. Don't move. Go left. Open a box. Don't open a box. Go up. Don't move. Move. Go to the circle on the ground. <laughs> Go up. Come forth to the Wheel of Fortune. Look at my life. <laughs> I completed 11 commands. Take it, take it. A great bunch of vouchers. 
You can't run away. You can't run away, you delicious little thing. Kitamari running around. <laughs> Jeez, Dimitri, I think it's gonna eat you up. When did I say that I wanted to eat this kid with a cross on their head? But she's your hostage, and I'm your hostage too. If I really wanted to eat someone, I wouldn't have taken them as a hostage. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't think you could possibly figure it out. Sweet. There, there. Since you asked for it, the Wheel of Fortune can only complete your wish. Last game. If Kitamari loses, everyone in every paper are going to be eaten. Ta-da! Ooh, flying. I will hide Dimitri in one of the lottery boxes. If you manage to find her, you win. Easy, right? <laughs> However, every time the light dims, Abnormal will show up. No time limit this time. If you can't find her, play the game here forever. Are the rules clear? I'm sorry, but I have to listen to it again. Find Demetria among the lottery boxes or the game will never end. Every time the light dims, Abnormal will appear. Okay. That actually doesn't sound terribly difficult. Before the last game, the generous wheel of fortune will allow you to take a break outside. If you can't find Demetria after the game starts, you can never leave this place. Hmm. But leave? When you come back, we will start the final game. So, is there a save? Rest. Okay, I'm gonna resume. I was just curious how that worked. Resume. This is the final game, I think. Loading. And then I will talk about what I think, I guess. Let's start now. Find Dimitri among the lottery boxes, or the game will never end. Clear. My my life is like... <laughs> my life is in a questionable state of being. Find the box with Dimitri inside. Where, where are the boxes? Oh, right here. We need to find a box. Oh no! I didn't do it, did I? the other boxes. There's another box on the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, is this... Is there another box? Oh, we're right here. Oh, thanks. Thought I was gonna be stuck here forever. You okay? Wait, let me see. Brilliant. Sweets I won from the Wheel of Fortune are still with me. The sweets here can refresh your spirit, right? Take these first. I knew it would resort to trickery, but I didn't expect it to hide me in such a place. Come over here. Wheel of Fortune has prepared a super prize for you. Kitamari never disappoints. You actually found her. Fine, fine. I admit defeat. So the generous Wheel of Fortune hereby decides to give you a special prize box. Don't you want to go home? Then keep advancing. You may find the exit if you were lucky enough. Though there doesn't seem to be any path ahead. <laughs> Cheater is cheating even until the last minute. What's this? A box? I'm a teleport- Blah, sorry. I'm a teleportation box. Good day to you. Good day. Though mine's turning out to be quite the opposite. A teleportation box can teleport you to somewhere else if you feed me with a tiny gingerbread. But I'm on diet. I can teleport you for free. Just this one time. You don't have to feed me. The teleportation is a one-way trip. You can go back and take a rest at the dessert shop first. I'm already my... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I, uh... <clears throat> the amount of time that I can keep doing, uh... <clears throat> voiceovers is definitely limited. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think I did too many voiceovers, and I need, like... Oh, no. 
It's a one-way trip. Go back, teleport now. Sure, let's teleport. Oh, I'm definitely gonna edit that. <laughs> I need a drink. I do have water next to me. Ooh, that was loud. Okay. I did a lot of voicing without, um, <clears throat> without drinking anything. Okay. We were swallowed in an instant, swallowed by a box. Wait, are we inside the box? It's just fine with Exodus. When you have a partner, they may have something to say sometimes. Approach and chat using A. I'm thinking. If it is not that dangerous, then this place might be good for a sleep. Ah, oh, forget what I said. I might just be a little deprived of sleep. Hmm. Sweets, free sweets. If you like them, welcome to our shop. The address is unknown. Sweets, free sweets. Okay, so I wasn't really able to uh, finish this puzzle in a good amount of time, and uh, this video is already quite long. So I want to talk about this game uh, that I think it's really great. <laughs> this game is really great. I was not expecting. Uh, I don't know. It's not that I wasn't expecting it to be great, but I wasn't expecting it to be as impressive as it is. The art is fantastic and imaginative. Uh, the writing, I feel like it does rely a lot on kind of uh, sort of dreamlike, um, absurd quality to it. There, there's more to it than that, though. There's a lot more to it than that, but I also feel like some moments of it could be a little more direct, just... I don't know, for a more balanced experience, <laughs> even though this is this is meant to be an unusual storyline. Uh, and the combat that you could see kind of in the way that it integrates in with the sort of puzzle solving, everything is very well designed and polished and everything. I guess, okay, my point, I guess, is that like, this is definitely my type of game that comes around very, very seldom. I think that there are a lot of people who could really, really like this game. And it's a rarity uh, to find something quite like this. And like Alice Madness Returns, it has that sort of energy, which Alice Madness Returns is a really special game that, uh, you know, there hasn't really been anything else quite like it since. Uh, and I mentioned Lost and Random. This is actually a lot more wild, uh, a lot more extraordinary, and kind of just overwhelming than Lost and Random. Even though I like Lost and Random, by the way, I quite like that one. That one is great. But um, this it feels uh, very ambitious, very ambitious, very, very well done. I, I, I don't know. I, I apparently don't have words. I <laughs> not getting together the right words for it. Um. Yeah, there's just, there's, there aren't many games quite like this. In fact, not much media in general has this exact kind of style, and I really appreciate finding something, something like this. Uh, I, I'm overwhelmed. Like, this is really, really, really good. This is absolutely going on the wish list. This is absolutely something that I could see myself playing the full version. Uh, I will say, though, it's gonna sound odd, I guess, uh, like, there's there's a kind of quality similar to Omori, which is like it, it, if you have mental health issues, right? Like I, I don't know if this <laughs> writing is necessarily going to uh, be exactly what you need at the moment. Uh, yeah, I I definitely see a little bit of something there uh, in that sense, but like. It, I just, I think this is fantastic. I think that this game is very fantastic. Again, something that only comes once in a while to find something that's quite like this, that has quite this quality, quality the characters. Uh, I find them, find them really cool. And yeah, I, my only issue, I guess, if I would have any issue is that I'm not sure about how the, uh, like how the the health system works. As you can see, my health is quite dire. And uh, when it comes to puzzle solving as well, like that's kind of a break from things. Uh, combat, like I, I like the combat overall. I don't know, I feel like I'm talking about all kinds of um, things that seem mm, trivial in 
comparison to what this game has to offer, which uh, my brain is kind of scrambled eggsy right now, so I'm like, <laughs> doing a really bad job explaining. But this is probably easily top three. Might be my favorite demo of the entire Steam Next Fest uh, stuff. And it's a complex feeling, kind of. I, I like it a lot. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for everything. And I'll see you later. Bye.